Hi there, today we're going to have a look at Easton's new Jazz Arrows. Right, so on the left we've got the new XX75 Jazz and on the right hand side we've got the old catalogue, the 2020 catalogue um, with the old style Jazz that you can see there in this kind of purple shaft and we'll talk about uh, the differences of those in a moment but first of all i just want to go back a little bit and talk to you about beginners arrows uh, mainly arrows that as a club we would run uh, for beginners in their beginners kit when they're on a beginners course and traditionally we would always buy the gold uh, xx75 neos mainly before a really good price they were really quite cheap nice uh, long uh, stock shaft length and they kind of fitted the kind of traditional 16 to 20 pound um, draw weight on a beginning on a beginner's wooden bow really but Easton stopped making those neos so the next uh, entry level arrow we could go to to buy if we needed to replace those neos is now the xx75 uh, jazz arrow now I do like this new jazz arrow um, and I do like that we are we can now use this jazz arrow for beginners classes. And one of the big problems with the Neos was that it, it took one of these so-called conventional knocks, which were glue on. They basically you had to glue them on over the ends and they weren't great because if they did crack or break, you know, you had to somehow get them off uh, with the glue that was in place and then find some glue and then kind of make sure you glued them back on kind of centrally again whereas now going to the jazz we've got the kind of standard uh g-knock kind of uni bushing where we can just push and pull and twist the uh knocks into place so it's really quick and easy to sort out the knocks and have loads of different colors of knocks and things like that on the beginners bows so Previous to 2023, really, we saw these jazzes in this purple format, in the purple shaft. Very classic. They've been around for a lot of years. And you've probably still got some, or you've still got some at your club, or you've seen them before. But as I say, they've now changed to this kind of black shaft here on the left with the kind of silver writing. And I've got some here, actually, to, to have a look at as well. Well, first of all, I thought we'd have a look to see if any of the uh, specifications between the two, the new and the old, have really changed. We're still on a 7075 aerospace alloy. We've got that hard anodized finish. Um, the straightness is still plus or minus 0 0.005 of an inch. And we've still got the weight tolerance of plus or minus 2%. And the strength uh, PSI of 90,000, I believe on both and obviously there's all these different components that you can buy for them as well very similar to what you used to be able to buy um, for them as well when it was in its purple format but obviously the uh, conventional knock uh, was available but we're not going to use that anymore because in the old version you could only use the g-knock on one um 12 14 spine uh, and you had to have the glue ons on all the others so now we've got rid of that in the jazz so we can use the genox as well but there is one spine that hasn't been carried over you can see there on the charts there we've got the 2014 um, 14 16 15 16 16 16 17 16 18 16 19 16 and 2016 um, the one we have lost is the 14 13 they used to make that in the old purple shaft uh, but they don't anymore so other than that it looks um, a very similar arrow it's made up of all of the same kind of characteristics as the old one uh, the main point to make out uh, in regard to stock length and beginners arrows really is that when we use it on a beginners class and we're using it and it's kind of um, 16 to 20 pounds as I mentioned before we're kind of looking at around a 17 16 spine and the stock length the the, uh, the maximum stock length they come in is 29 inches so you've got to think about that um, if you get some tall uh, beginners with really long uh, reaches and draw lengths then you've got to make sure that you can find a spine that works with that bow and is also long enough 
so that the arrow uh, does not come off the arrow rest and go into the back of their hands. Uh, you know you're going to need one to two inches of kind of um, arrow sticking out in front of the arrow rest really to be safe. Now, the great thing about the old Neos was that they only came in a 1618, but their stock length was 32 inches. Now, that really helped when it came to these really uh, long armed shooters. And unfortunately, we haven't got that stock length uh, for that spine in the uh, new Jazzes. So what we're being told is to keep um, the old gold Neos to one side as sort of keep them for best uh, and only bring them out when you kind of really need to and you've got these people um, with these really long draw lengths who are on these kind of beginners classes otherwise we're going to kind of bring in the jazzes now so that everyone has uh, the same uh, arrows really on the beginners class other than you know really small juniors who are going to have some different arrows right so here's the eastern jazzes Eastern on them, 1716s. It says XX75 Jazz on them on the other side. And then we've got the usual Made in USA and a few other details on there. And the point. And then on these ones, we've actually gone for um, a blue and white vein. And then we've gone for the orange um, knock on here, Eastern knock. What we're actually going to do is actually keep to the same color fletching. So we just order the same fletching colors all the time, but just vary the uh, knock color so that beginners can tell which arrows are theirs when it comes to scoring on the targets. And here's the uh, Here's the other one. Again, I say same fletching colors, just um, a different knot color in white this time. So, I mean, overall, I really do like these Jazz Arrows. They seem really good quality aluminum arrow. Um, whether it's for uh, beginners classes that you're putting on at your local club, or whether you are big or are a beginner just starting out and you want to have a choice of the different spines um, and you don't want to go for the XX75 Platinum Pluses, then do have a look at the Eastern Jazz as a really good starter arrow. But thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.